Today I'm going to show you how to create a virtual environment in CPython using the ANSYS Electronics Desktop installation. The virtual environment provides you access to install libraries without administrative rights. So to do this, we'll start by defining some environment variables. In this case, PyPath, which points to the CPython installation that is part of the Electronics Desktop installation. We will create the virtual environment in a directory that is accessible for the user with read and write access. This allows you to manage your own packages without admin rights. Once you've created the virtual environment, you can Browse to the virtual environment, verify that the directory has been created. And now you can activate the environment and install the PyAEDT package using pip. This will provide some simplified uh, command syntax to automate ANSYS Electronics Desktop using open source Python libraries. So if you want to reuse this virtual environment that has been created, you can create a shortcut that will launch a command window and activate the virtual environment. Modify the uh, shortcut properties so that it starts in the location of the virtual environment. You can add uh, or modify the uh, icon associated with the shortcut. And then make sure that the command that is executed is the uh, cmd.exit and you pass to that the argument activate, which activates the virtual environment. That way when you double click on the uh, shortcut, you will open a command window that has this Python environment running. And so all commands that you type now in this window will be using the virtual environment. So you can, for example, install IPython, which is a very nice user-friendly Python terminal. Uh, Matplotlib is, the, is a common open source package that is used for plotting and creating graphics. And if we launch the IPython shell, you can now see that the PyAEDT package can be imported. This will provide us access to HFSS and other tools that are part of the ANSYS Electronics Desktop. So here we've just initiated an instance of HFSS by uh, uh, creating an instance of the HFSS class. And you can see that the user interface for HFSS Electronics Desktop has been opened. And now we can run commands using PyADT to manipulate and query properties of this project. You can use dictionary syntax in Python to define variables. If you want to learn more about using Python to automate ANSYS Electronics Desktop, visit this webpage.